The world we know is changing and throwing up new challenges every day. Climate change, drought, famine, food security, declining soil fertility, overpopulation. All of these new challenges require some new thinking. And that new thinking was the birth of vertical farm systems. Vertical farm systems offer a revolutionary agricultural solution that addresses many of these issues head on. It's developed an innovative approach to the large-scale commercial production of green leafy crops in any geographical location or climate. It provides commercial operators or government agencies with the ability to produce fresh, locally grown food close to consumer markets 365 days a year. And it provides investors with a very real opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a product whose time has come. Compared to traditional farming techniques, Vertical Farm Systems offers more food reliability and security, more crop rotations per year, more growth area per square meter, more yield per square meter, more nutrition and minerals in produce. And yet it does this with less foreign imports, less water usage, less need for labor skills, less crop losses and importantly, without the use of any chemicals or pesticides. Contributing to humanity. In 400 BC, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. And this is what drives vertical farm systems today to positively contribute to the health and well-being of consumers and their children through what they eat. Nutritional science has established that high nitrate and low mineral levels in the human body are a major cause of many health problems. And this is a byproduct from the current farming methods that have been used since the 50s. So while vertical farm systems set out to counter the world's issues of food security, climate change, farming land degradation and diminishing water supply, a deeper issue became apparent. The VFS team saw that they could also create a horticulture system that could provide food with the luxury levels of nutrients and minerals that the human body needs for optimum health and performance. The solution was bioponics. Put simply, bioponics is the practice of combining biologically alive organic nutrients and hydroponic farming techniques. The advantages of bioponics include no chemicals and pesticides used, water and nutrient consumption is reduced, higher crop yields in reduced growing areas, higher levels of nutrition and minerals in food. The outcome is quality, wholesome food that is healthier and tastier. The advantages of vertical farm systems. With consistent, reliable growth cycles, commercial growers can confidently commit to delivery schedules. Crops are no longer seasonal and losses are virtually non-existent. Environmental factors such as disease, pest or predator attacks are removed. It also means farms are not dependent on the availability of fertile arable land and they can be established in any climatic region globally, irrespective of prevailing daylight hours and extremes in temperature. This multi-layered farm system provides nearly eight times more growing area than single level hydroponic systems. This enables cost-effective farming installations in industrial estates, urban warehouses and other low-cost, underutilized environments. Irrespective of external conditions, vertical farm systems can reliably provide more crop rotations per year than open field agriculture and other farming practices, and that means a greater total yield. Specially formulated, biologically active nutrients are used in all the crop cycles for maximum nutritional plant growth. This fully automated system only requires on-site labor for planting and harvesting of crops and required skill levels are minimal. The system uses only around 10% of the water of traditional open field farming and 20% less than conventional hydroponics. Through the potential use of green energy and the elimination of fossil fuel powered machinery, vertical farm systems can be carbon emissions competitive. Temperature, CO2 and humidity levels are closely monitored and maintained in an optimum range for each crop. Due to the system's controlled temperature, humidity and daylight hours and the use of biologically active plant nutrients, crop cycles are faster, producing market-grade produce of several crops within just 24 days from seeding. 
A wide range of crops are already available to suit this system. Plus, additional crops are being progressively developed and added. The XT432 farm block. A complete solution. Who is this suitable for? Commercial growers or government agencies? Addressing the four pillars of national food security, Vertical Farm Systems offers availability, stability, utilisation and access. The system offers a sustained supply to locally grown, fresh and nutrient-rich food 365 days a year, removing the dependency on imported foods, which many countries and communities are now experiencing. Vertical Farm Systems cater for large-scale commercial production of green leafy crops, including vegetables, herbs, sprouted grains, tree seedlings and cut flowers in any geographical location or climate all year round. The system produces perfect crops every time, avoiding poor yields due to unstable weather patterns, plant diseases or insect attacks. Combined with lower overheads, this provides a more profitable solution than traditional farming and the use of bioponics produces food that has the highest levels of nutrients and minerals on the market. zijn dat we in 2050 met 9 miljard mensen zijn. Een PPU, een Plan Production Unit, kan op elke plek in de wereld geplaatst worden. Dat zou dus betekenen dat we midden in de stad onze producten kunnen gaan telen. Dus we combineren daarbij de productieomgeving met de plek waar ook geconsumeerd wordt. My name is Robert Harson and I am the vertical farm technician here at Wigan University Technical College. Vertical farming is rather than we need to expand our farms outwards to expand them upwards. So rather than build a 10 acre greenhouse and have 10 acres basically taken up, why not build an acre greenhouse and keep 10 layers on top of it? Due to the increase in population which is going to hit 9 billion by 2050, we're going to rely heavily on future technologies. And that's where hydroponics plays a massive part. This specific vertical farm can grow plants that you would normally grow on in an acre and a half in the space of the room behind us. Uh, first we sow them and then they're placed in the propagation room and after a few weeks um, they are placed on the hydroponic unit in the, in the troughs and after that once they're fully grown they are harvested. We grow a wide variety of things. We focus mainly on herbs because that's what we use downstairs in the production kitchen. However, we have grown lettuce, we've grown chilies, we've grown peppers, and we grow a lot of Chinese herbs for local Chinese restaurants, so we grow the pak choy, the choy sum, and the chai lin. We grow in a hydroponic bear belt, it does one revolution every half hour. Um, we use that system to water the plants so that each plant gets the same amount of water, but also we use it so that we shed some light and get the same amount of sunlight. The plant is grown in a synthetic soil, um, and it's done this way so that you can monitor how much water is going through it and how much water the plant is absorbing and the growing rate. It basically recycles the water that it uses, so plants take in the amount of water that they need, but then the remainder of water, which would normally be uh, drained into the earth, it's collected and pumped around the system back into the plants again. It's 90% less water than what you'd use in a natural field. Well, I originally come from a farming family and we're very limited by the seasons, so we have to sow everything in the spring and then harvest it throughout the year. Here, we can be sowing all year round, harvesting all year round. If you're a farmer, you can have a bad day, you can have a good day, it just depends on what the weather wants, but you can control the weather. We grow vertically, we 
go on rooftops, you can go in a building such as this, where traditionally you would need acres and acres of fields to do such a thing. Hydroponics is still evolving as to how we're using it in, say, Japan for example, where there's a lot of people in a small space. They've started turning all the old technology factories where they used to make floppy drives and CD drives, which are now obsolete, and they've started creating plant factories where they literally just grow nothing but one crop, so they grow nothing but lettuce and nothing but pan choy. This has given them lots of fresh, healthy vegetables. Since the growing population, in, especially in the, in the coming future, I definitely think that um, the fact that the farm hydroponics will definitely be used more, more and more around the world. Food security is something that's becoming very important very quickly. We're expanding the population in England. There's more and more people on the building houses all the time. We are a participant from a borrowing space. It's easy to eat the cold and kind of gets here. Or you can grow it here and invest the farm. We can harvest food here and we usually have it delivered in an hour.